What is going on YouTubers, Jay here from Maji and Jay. Today we are coming with the Chinese version of the Ring 2 clone, I would call it. This is called the Arc Mido Doorbell. And let me tell you guys, at first I was super skeptical about this product. I thought it was going to be garbage. I actually received it thinking that it was just going to be a joke. I was going to play with it and not even complete a video. So yes, it got sponsored with this particular product. They went ahead and contacted me via email and said, Hey Jay, do you want to go ahead and try our new doorbell? It compares a lot to the Ring 2 that you can completed about almost a year ago so again guys I was very skeptical because I get this type of message all the time them claiming that it is a high quality product and when I receive it it's absolutely junk so here we have the box for the doorbell and then this is the box for the shine that came with it and they decided to include both the shine works very very well all you have to do is basically connect it to the wall it'll give you a uh, red blinking light and then you can add it with the uh, doorbell that way every time everybody rings it you will get a notification inside very similar to what you will see um, with the uh, ring 2 device that I currently own so here let's go ahead and open the shine first really quickly that way you guys can see what I'm talking about it comes with the manuals and everything so you can hook it up very easily and here is the shine you would just again plug it into the wall we got here the loudspeaker which is really really loud and then here you're gonna have a certain notifications and it comes um, Again, with the uh, blinking light inside that it will tell you once it is ready to pair. So that's it for the Shine guys. But here we're going to be focusing mainly on the doorbell itself. This is amazing, guys. As I said, I definitely underestimated it just because of the price. This thing goes for around $65 to $75 and it got rebranded. It used to be called Akazo and now they changed it to Arcmedo. So here on the side of the box, we get some of the features. It is Wi-Fi compatible, of course. It has a processor inside. Um, um, then we have here the 166 degree uh, wide angle lens. Uh, it records in 720p and I believe it's a 5 megapixel sensor. It is supposed to come with two battery guys, but now this is a test unit, so I only got one battery and I've been able to use this product without having to charge it for one month and five days. This is absolutely insane. With the Ring 2 doorbell, don't take me wrong, guys, it is a great doorbell. I've been using it now for about a year, but I do have to charge it about every two months or so because I have, um, you know, high volume of cars going by my house. So it is always recording constantly. So for that reason, I see myself always uh, having to charge the battery. Now with this one here, again, being a Chinese product, I was impressed to see that so far it has lasted one month and five days and it is still functioning well. I haven't had to charge it. So here in the back side, we have more information about the battery. Between the two batteries, you get uh, 3,400 milliamps. So I'm assuming I'm getting half of that, which is about 17, 1800 almost. Uh, with one battery uh, then it has the high definition uh, resolution which again is 720p uh, with wide angle uh, it supports a smartphone application you got the 2.4 gigahertz of wi-fi connectivity uh, it has a very uh, loud uh, speaker and it supports the pr motion sensor which is again every time somebody walks in front of your house or whatever the case may be it's going to send a notification directly to your smartphone and you don't need a cloud to do that uh, then it supports a day and night uh, mode automatic switch which means that it has a sensor in the front that it detects when it's nighttime and when it's daylight time that way it gives you the proper uh, picture uh, of course it has night vision as well so again that was another plus for this particular camera for 65 or 75 dollars guys I mean compared to the ring 2 this is a really really good product I mean it is a fraction of the price of the original brand here so let me go ahead and remove the slider let's go ahead and check out here the box which is really simplistic and again this is a rebranded product so here we have the owner's manual and here is going to explain the application that needs to be downloaded in which in this case it's going to be the application called 2c I'm not sure if you guys can see it there it'll tell you exactly what to do in order to get it paired it takes about five minutes the most to get this thing set up and ready to go it is really user friendly so here we have the product and it is very well built and it looks almost identical to the ring 2 device guys so here we have uh, the device it has been set up by me already I didn't want to reset it because of the fact that it takes a long time uh, you know here in the video wasting about five or six minutes that's a long time but anyways I completed all the setup and all you have to do is once you connect the battery which goes back here by the way, we have a mounting plate that comes already pre-installed here. You have to do slide it out. 
and these are the uh, or this is the plate itself and it seems like it comes with uh, some sort of connection here in case you want to mount it already with an existing doorbell but I didn't get to that because I don't have an existing doorbell uh, previously so I had to use the battery uh, so anyways the battery goes inside here this back compartment is a little bit hard to open but there we go and this is one of the batteries again I am missing one but with only this battery guys I was able to so far get one month and five days of usage and I still haven't had to charge it but in case you do you would just remove the doorbell from the wall plate here and you would just connect a standard micro USB cable right here and charge it it supports any smartphone charger so that's cool and here we have the reset button if you hold and press it for about eight or ten seconds it'll just forget about all the setup that you have done and you can start from scratch so here on the bottom side guys is where we have the loudspeaker which again is really good on the front here we had the microphone this is the PR sensor that they're talking about motions and stuff and then uh, we got here the uh, day and night sensor as well this is the one detecting if it's daylight time or if it's nighttime and then we have some infrared lights here on the side you can't see it right now because it is not dark unfortunately but they do light up red very similar to what we see on the ring 2 device so other than that guys you can see that it looks like a pretty nice and sturdy product here it weights about I would say almost like 215 grams the most just like a smartphone um, so here let's go ahead and install the battery compartment here in the back side of the battery door and inside of this box we got some screws and stuff in case you know you need to uh, mount this um, you know on the wall in which is most likely the case uh, I mean I use uh, adhesive tape and it worked well I just removed it but if you guys are doing this permanently then just use this and you won't regret it alright guys and now that we know enough about this doorbell right here it is time to show you guys how to get it set up so it is really really easy like the instruction says you must go here to your Play Store or the App Store if you're using iOS and go ahead and search for this application it is called 2C and then after you install it you go ahead and open it so at first guys you will be greeted here with a message that is going to ask you to add the device and once you place in the battery it'll turn red that means that it is able to pair so you click add device and then it'll read it for you after you do so then you can go ahead and um, enter your Wi-Fi information you need to enter the password in order to get it connected to your router and after you do so everything has been done and then it creates this little thumbnail every time you go live so right now I tested it just before I completed this clip of the video and this is the thumbnail so to go live all you have to do is just click here on this picture and it says connecting right there and it takes no time it takes about maybe a second or two to connect and there we have it guys so after one month and five days finally I got this message right here saying that my battery is currently low so I need to charge it and then on here from the bottom side these are all the options that you guys have let me go ahead and lower the volume here so that way you don't get annoyed by it and then here guys on the bottom side we have all the options that we can do while being live here you have the option to record you have the option to speak this will activate the loudspeaker on it so people can listen to what you have to say you can take a screenshot and you can put it on full screen you have playback volume and such so this is everything that you you can do right now and if you guys go back here um, then you can go ahead and of course delete the device as well now when you guys are live if you go here into the settings on the upper right hand side corner um, it'll ask you for the password administrative password that you got on here so let me go ahead and enter mine briefly and now here you have a whole bunch of settings after entering that password it'll ask you to actually build a password it, it is not optional unfortunately so then you are greeted with all these extra settings on here so you can set up the video length to whatever you want up to 45 seconds for every time there's a motion which is something that I think ring does not offer uh, on here we also have ultra low consumption which is going to go into power saving mode basically we have the device indicator light that's the blue light that you guys see right here so it'll notify people once the camera is activated if you want it to deactivate it you can also do it by just um, turning the switch off uh, and then here we have the volume which you can do also from being live we have the uh, motion detection sensitiveness uh, which again you can also do this with the ring 2 device so now guys with this being said we are ready to go ahead and do the comparison with the ring 2 device and hopefully you guys can hear everything that is coming from this speaker and also the ring 2 device and just tell me if it's worth it or not so here we go hey baby can you hear me i can hear you very well 
Oh, nice. Is it clear? Can you hear everything I say or does it sound scratchy? I can hear everything that you say. Okay, well say hi to YouTube. Everybody's excited to see you. Okay, thank you, baby. I'm proud of you. Now we're going to test the other one, the ring doorbell, okay? Okay. Hey, Jalen, can you hear me? Yeah, but it kind of sounds a little bit scratchy. It sounds different than the other one? It sounds kind of a little bit like not, like... Not very clear? It doesn't sound very clear, right? Oh, okay. Well, thank you for being honest, And but I can see you better. I can see your face better with this one, though. Okay. Okay, say hi to YouTube again. Hi, YouTube. And now say bye, because we are finished. Bye. All right, guys. So there you heard my nine-year-old daughter saying that, well, the other one sounds better when it comes to speaker. As a matter of fact, we're going to be doing the test again, and this time the camera is going to be outside recording. And of course, I'm going to be using the built-in microphone here, so that way you can grab the communication quality. Uh, again, you already heard what the input is, and now we're going to hear what the output is. So again, uh, let's go outside and test it out. But so far, guys, in terms of audio quality, I think this one has better audio quality in terms of picture quality, in which in reality, I think is the most important one. I was able to see my daughter's face a whole lot better. I'm not sure if maybe we can tweak this one. I haven't played with it much. Um, but yes, I was able to see my daughter's face a whole lot better with the ring doorbell, but the audio is better here on the Arc Mito. So anyways, let's go outside. Let's go ahead and test the quality of the audio coming from both of them. And hopefully you guys be the judge and tell me which one you think is better. Again, comparing the price, $199 versus $75. Bucks. Here we go. So here we are testing the audio on the ring doorbell. And hopefully you guys can hear me. I'm using here on my camera. And I'm using the microphone built into the camera. And again, hopefully you guys are listening to me clear enough. So again, this is the Ring Doorbell loudspeaker. And now let's go ahead and test the Arc Mito. Alrighty guys, so here we are testing the Arc Mito. And this is the audio quality. Now we will listen once we are on the front of the door. And this is about three feet away with both of them, the ring and the arc So hopefully you guys can listen to me well enough. And again, this is the audio quality coming from Arc Mito. And now let's see which one has better sound heat. All right, guys, and now we saw the daylight demo of the recording, and you guys can tell that, well, they are very close to each other, with the exception that this one has a harder time detecting the face. It doesn't really um, show you a clear, 100% clear picture. I mean, you can still see it and know exactly who is there, and you can even recognize the face, but it's going to be a little bit darker than on the Ring 2. So for that reason, I had to get the recording, at least on the daylight time, to the Ring 2 on that behalf. And the audio, when it comes to the audio, I think, well, the Arc Mito definitely takes it, guys. It was a lot clearer. The microphone responds a lot better. You guys heard my daughter a lot, way a lot better uh, than on the Ring 2 device. And also, people can hear me better when it comes to the loudspeaker here from the um, Arc Mito than on the Ring 2 device. So on the audio side, I have to give it to the Arc Mito. So overall, this is a super great value, guys. And not to mention that on uh, nighttime or night vision recording, this one does a lot better. I mean, it records um, with more details than on the Ring 2 device. And here you guys can see that perfect clip. Right now, this is for the Ring 2. And you guys can see that it is blurred out. It doesn't seem as clear. But now when you compare it to the Arc Mito, you guys can definitely tell that, well, there's better uh, picture of it. You can even see the palm trees on the backside. You can even see the house on the background a lot better. So on that side, I had to give it to the Arc Mito when it comes to night vision. So overall, guys, I need you to tell me in the comment section below for 75 bucks what you think about this product. I think it's absolutely amazing. Of course, I have left the link below in case you guys are interested. Thank you so much for watching this video. Subscribe for more, and I'll see you guys on my next one.